It's days like this when we remind ourselves why Frog is the legend that he is. For example, this is a Tesla Cybertruck with a Duramax in the back that rolls coal like mad every time you start it up or rev it or do anything in regards to even remotely touching the gas pedal. Now, is this what the Cybertruck was meant to be? No, not at all, ever. But you know what? I'm happy it exists. So let's go and customize it and see what we can do. And also, can I just say that I find it absolutely hilarious that since the engine is rear mounted, you can see it just caving the rear suspension in. It's hilarious. And also, I will of course be leaving a link to this thing in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and throw the speed racer mode engine in it and the speed racer gearbox no idea what this is going to do to the performance by the way i've never used this before lifted off road or lifted hauler mm, lifted off road and then all right so we have 35 inch generic off-road tire 35 inch same studded 41 on the same tire, 41 inch with studs, 44 inch assassinator mud tires, and 44 inch generic off-road tires, studded off-road tires, and then 47 inch assassinator mud tires. What? <laughs> what? Okay. And I mean, I'm all about this. I'm all over it. I just don't know how it's going to be. It's going to be hilarious one way or another, but... Like, I have no idea how it's going to perform. Yo, that actually changes the color of the intake piping. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool. All right, so let's take our diesel cyber truck to the mud. Now that we've got our lifted suspension, our mud tires, everything that we need, and apparently also our Speed Racer Edition engine tune and gearbox... And, uh, let's see what happens. If this is anything like Frog's Old Ranger from Mud Runner, we're gonna be in for a treat. Because it's gonna launch- it's gonna just about launch itself into space if it's anything like that. Or even anything like his Cybertruck from Mud Runner. If you guys were around during the Mud Runner days, oh my god. Let me know in the comment section if you remember either of those trucks. Because they were wild. They were mental in every way. Now, I know it's not mud related, but we might as well do a quick hill climb test just to see what she does. It ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. And I'm also actually really surprised that it didn't roll over right there. It just, it just balanced. Oh God. I was gonna say, yeah, it's going over right there, but that's all right because I'm sure I have offline, yeah, an offline winch and I'm sure I have winch points everywhere. And it's not really going to be that big of a deal to roll over, I think, I hope, well, I hope not. I hope it's not going to be, you know, the worst thing in the world to roll over. Really? Yeah, just like everything else in, in SnowRunner, it goes, like, the quick winch automatically goes to, like, the worst possible winch point. So, we've got it rolled back over, we've got it repaired, let's head to the mud. This thing better put on a show in the mud. Like, I'm gonna be like, really? If it doesn't, I'm gonna be like, no. No, you better put on a show in the mud. All right, and let's go into high. Well, out here, it's freaking great. In this mud, it's absolutely freaking great. Oh, geez. No! I done pulled a Mustang. Ran right into the nearest pole. All right, let's try some slightly deeper mud now. Now that we've repaired after our pole incident. Oh my god. This is high range, people. What? What? All right, that slowed down a little bit. Let's throw it in low plus. Yeah, it just takes off. Like, whenever high range stops working, you throw it in low plus and modulate the throttle and you're good to go. Let's throw it into the ultra deep mud. I rarely ever- Whoa! The only thing above the water is the stack. That's it. That's the only thing above the water. And part of me wonders, though, if it might be wise to change the depth. Um, like, the intake depth. And this mud is bad. Like, this is some of the worst mud you'll ever encounter. And, like, it's- it's pretty slow in here. 
it's pretty slow in here but to be fair though nearly everything is pretty slow in there even the stuff that's like wild and over the top and has like you know hundred and some odd inch tires still has trouble in there it'll rip through that mud though look at that oh god yep it's gone over again but it's okay the quick winch saved us all right repair and refuel one more time and since we're doing our normal like standard round of testing I am actually going to put it through the dips obstacle the only problem with that is I feel like it'll just it'll just be too easy for it so I'm gonna give it a challenge I'm gonna see if it can go through the dips obstacle in high without flipping over which is probably a terrible idea and it'll probably flip over but nonetheless three two one go oh boy ah we're still upright whoa <laughs> what i haven't lifted yet i haven't lifted yet oh you bypassed okay i know i bypassed like the last quarter slash last half of that but i'm gonna let it have it because it was hilarious and it just like it came so close to rolling over like four different times that i'm like you know what i'm gonna be nice and just let it have it now, most vehicles come to a not-so-screeching, but definitely muddy halt on this trail because the mud is just so deep and thick, properly thick, that, uh, oh no, I lifted off the throttle right when I hit a big bump and it caused me to stall out. But this thing, dude, on these, like, 47-inch mud tires, it just goes straight through. Not even remotely any problems at all. What a hilarious ow. What a hilarious thing. Like, literally, in every way, in every possible way, it's, like, the most hilarious thing. And at the end of the day, like, I don't think you're gonna... <laughs> I mean, if you think... If you like the idea of the Cybertruck, or you like the shape of the Cybertruck, and you're, like, you know, you're kind of, like, iffy about the fact that it's electric... This fixes that. This fixes that in like every possible way. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to drive because it's just hilarious. Like it's literally hilarious on every single front. Now you have to be careful going around corners fast though because if you go around a corner any more quickly than like moderate, then uh, yeah, you're gonna be in for a you're gonna be in for a rude awakening. Now, the jump at the top of the hill. Let's see. Oh god, we're gonna hit a tree, aren't we? Whoa! I don't know how we didn't hit a tree. Like legit, I don't know how we didn't hit a tree doing that. And what I love about it is the fact that it can pull scout trailers. It's literally like it's technically it's campaign functional, which is also like so not okay but also so okay at the same time we cleared the freaking barrels oh that's so good I'm trying to get this thing to fall over like to get it to fall backwards come on come on I'm trying to drive forward to get it to fall backwards the only problem is it's um it's got a bit of a temper about that it's like no it's like i don't want to why are you trying to make me do this, you blithering idiot, Hammond? Come on. Woo. As soon as... There we go. As soon as I could get gravity on my side, I knew it was going to come back down. But I was like, because of the shape of the front end, it sometimes acts a little weird whenever you bury the front end in the ground like that. I'm curious. Because earlier, we barely got to the, like, you know, the dangerous depth. Let's see if we can just drive it through the water. Okay, so I'm seeing dangerous depth there, but... Oh, there's dangerous water level. Okay, never mind. Yep. Got it back at a high, though. That's against the current. Like, as long as you don't sink the front bumper, you're pretty much fine. Look at that! What? Oh, dear, though. Like, that's, that's dangerous water level. Okay, yeah, that's where it gets really, really, really deep. That's where you would run into issues even with something like Monster Max. Like, even Monster Max would complain about that. Although, to be fair, I've taken Monster Max through there before, and it didn't complain all that much. So, I've got to admit that, like, maybe, 
I don't know. Maybe Monster Max wouldn't complain all that bad to it. That, that, that thing literally just held a freaking wheelie at the top of the hill. Okay, bud. I haven't done this little crawl test in a while, but the funny thing about it is that I'm doing it on a freaking mud tire, and this thing doesn't care. It's just like, eh, whatever. I got, like, I got all the torque in the world. I'm not even bothered. Like, look, it's just like, ah, I'll just park there. Like, why do I even need to worry about it? I'll just park there. Frog engineered the center of gravity on this thing really well, actually. Like, you know, yeah, when you roll it over, you roll it over. But it's really good at, like, rolling back onto its wheels and also not, like, not constantly tipping over. Which makes it a lot better to drive and a lot less, honestly, like, a lot less frustrating. Because a lot of trucks, you know, a lot of trucks like this, especially, like the mud trucks, when you flip them over, you're really in big trouble. Because it can be super annoying and frustrating to get them back on their wheels. But this thing, not so much. It's actually really good about it. So if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time.